Hello. What's up, everyone? How's it going? Good. Good. Start with this guy right over here. So the Sounders three years ago, now the Kraken. What's the meaning of adding an NHL team to what you're doing right now? I think that Seattle and sports are synonymous. We are a city that loves our sports teams. And really, it brings people together. It brings community. We root for one common purpose, one goal, to get the W. Um, we are some of the best fans in the entire world. I believe the best. And the Kraken being here in Seattle is a huge moment for the city to team up and to become part of the ownership group is is a dream come true. So Sounders, Kraken, it's all Seattle, and um, it's just a phenomenal opportunity. How did this all come together? I started talking to Todd and Tim Laiwiki, I don't even, a long time ago. And um, at first it was just kind of an idea was a random email, is there any interest, with some lunches, some conversation, and as time progressed, it slowly evolved, and there was obviously a lot of, of hoops and some, you know, paperwork to get through, but, uh, you know, here we are. Victor, what's the appeal of a guy like that? Yeah, we, we, we were, were on the lookout for additional investors. You know, obviously our investor group led by David Bonderman and Samantha Holloway um, you know, world-class group of people. Uh, but this made a lot of sense. Um, these two gentlemen here, Macklemore and Marshawn, uh, they love the city. They care so much about the people here. They uh, have a passion for hockey. They want to give back. And um, they want to engage with our fans and as we grow this game and this team and being here from the beginning. Super exciting. How do you see this evolving? Obviously, it sounds like you're going to be doing some of the programming or producing the in game music. I mean, how, what does this look like? I think it's an open slate right now, but there's been conversations. I think that anything that I get involved with, I, I give it 100%. And it's exciting to think of kind of the black, the blank canvas that it is. I mean, we're finishing up our first season. There's um, so much room to just grow. I mean, this space is brand new. We have really, you know, we have years ahead. And it's like, how do we, as Victor said, grow the game and then also utilize the space? I think that one thing that I've had conversations about is how do we bring in local artists and bring in people from the community, really make it something where we're not, it's not just about um, the sports, but it's also about, culture, it's about music, it's about diversity, and making sure that we occupy the space thinking about those key ingredients. What are some of the things that you've seen the Kraken organization do in terms of branding, messaging, you know, from the ground up that you've liked? I think diversity has been a huge thing that that I have seen in terms of um, who they're hiring, making sure that the organization is diverse, um, their goals around community. Obviously, we're you know, knock on wood coming out of a pandemic. So there's a lot more activation to be done, but making sure that we're including the next generation, that any any youth that want to get out on the ice and experience this, I mean, hockey is new to our city. This isn't a sport that I grew up with here in Seattle playing because there just wasn't access. So now that we have the training facility, now that we have Climate Pledge, um, there's really a huge avenue to to make sure that kids can get out on the ice and, and learn this game. When you first had $20 to spend, did you ever imagine that it would be on a hockey franchise? Hell no. <laughs> no, not at all. I, I did not. And uh, life, is, life is wild. Life is wild. I, I can't believe that I'm, that I'm sitting up here that, you know, you fast forward or you rewind back to uh, – you know, 2010, 11, before anything really popped off and and thinking about my relationship with Marshawn and how that's grown over the years and, and, and the Seahawks winning a ring and us having our breakout year. Um, 
I'm looking forward to the future in terms of this organization and what we can do. I saw you in full gear this morning. Was that your first time sitting up in, in full hockey gear? That was a couple weeks ago, but yes, that was my first time naturally gifted on the ice, I would say. Um, <laughs> now, it was, it was a lot of fun. You know, I've only ice skated at, uh, you know, around Christmas time. It's usually holding one of my children, trying not to fall. So to, uh, to be completely suited up, it was fun. I definitely got the appeal. I wasn't, you know, you know, I mean, I, I, I had fun and I'm going to get better. Let's put it that way. What's that? Tell me about your jersey. Oh, Goose McGee. That was our vintage mall that was up on Capitol Hill. We had to close it down, but the name lives on. What was it like getting towed by Marshawn on the ice? You know, it was scary. It was scary. Um, no, we had a good time. He, uh, he really wanted to uh, ghost ride the Zamboni, which I don't think that legally anyone was trying to let him do, but... But we had fun out there for sure. Had him up on ESPN because I guess when he was in college, he grabbed that uh, that cart and whipped it around the field. So they were juxtaposing you guys on the ice. So it's getting out there, man. He yeah. had a long lineage of of driving, and uh, he's a crazy driver. Victor, is there anything you can say not only about Macklemore's position here, but with Marshawn, what he's going to be doing with the franchise? Yeah, we want to keep them as busy as we can, obviously. These are heroes for our city, and they want to be involved. Uh, you know, uh, Malcolm Moore, we, uh, we'd love to produce some music events. We'd love to uh, start a charity golf tournament. Uh, with Marshawn, he, um, you know, hockey is for everybody, our campaign that we, we care a lot about. We, uh, he has a very, very um, keen interest in supporting the youth in our, in our city and the Pacific Northwest. We're talking about a, a unity event where all kids can come to Climate Pledge Arena and, and be inspired. Um, there's so many things that we have on the table that we want to try to pursue with, with these great guys, and we're so excited about that.